Okay, we're gonna do a First Amendment audit at O Triple C in the Oahu Community Correctional Center. This is another one of the prisons that we have on the island here. Closer to this one than we did the Halava prison. Okay, I'm going to get some photos here. Okay, so we are on the corner, still right here at the street. On right away. Another tower in the background right there. And then we have another one. It's going to be right up here. to that one in just a minute. So this is the prison that they are wanting to close down. It's too old, it's going to cost them too much to make all the necessary repairs. So they are looking for a new location. to build a new prison. There are several different locations across the island that they're looking at. And of course, nobody wants it in their neighborhood. This is going to be a big battle. So with the lens that I have on today, it's going to be easier for me to get shots from across the street. Instead of right up next to their fence, I've got the wrong lens on here today. So we're going to go ahead and cross this. moving the gentleman in the white pickup truck here came up behind me asked me what I was doing so we're gonna watch him for a little while honking at the tower now Just in case you didn't get any. The one 
the pickup truck staying there at the back of his truck watching me. So far, everybody over at this prison seems to know their jobs. Their jobs are inside the prison, not outside. Inside the main fence, we have that plastic fence there, PVC fence. Right behind that PVC fence is the prison yard where all the inmates would be outside. Put this PVC fence up so we can't see each other.
appears as though the prison guards must have learned their lesson from the last video I shot near the prison. Maybe I made them look bad enough just over on that one if they're all gonna do their jobs. Hopefully. We still see, we still have a lot more prisons to go. what he should do. Watch me from afar. Leave me alone.
Okay, our friend, the guard in the patrol car, is now going to maneuver around. You see him moving around the back of the parking lot there. He's going to maneuver around down to this end down here. We're getting ready to head to. When we first started up, I thought he was going to be dumb enough to come out here. But he turned around and went back the other way. We're getting a little closer now. little red car here. Okay, let's move down a little bit more and have him follow. The prison? Okay, here comes one. What are you filming, sir? Yeah. Yeah, what are you filming? Filming the prison. Huh? Yeah, so, what, what, what kind of business? Wait a cap, I get I get him I get him talking to him right now, but he's not answering me when I ask him what he's filming. What is, what is this for? I'm filming the prison because for I want to film it. For what? I'm taking photos of what I can see in public. You're taking photos of what you can see in public, that's what he's telling me, right? And you get the camera and get the camera. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, 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 The exact same rules apply to members of the press as hey, the general public. Sarge, the cap said if you can call HPD, because this guy is just, cause he, he's not a reporter or anything, but he's taking, he taking the picture and all that, I don't know. I just didn't call the cap, I was on the, you know. Yeah, go ahead and call HPD. HPD you know, loved me. You know. HPD knows me very well. He's the outside. Yeah. Well, have HPD come over here and teach you what your I job is. The cap said call HPD. That's, 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 that's a good question. Yeah. That's what I told him. I told him. Yeah, that's, that's what I told him. That's exactly what I told him. Okay, yeah. Was there some reason I'm not supposed to take pictures of the prison? Get back in your car. Drive away. Okay, let's head on down this way a little farther. Yeah, I like messing with this guy. He's a fun one. He's sitting there trying to tell the guy on the phone that he's told me I couldn't do this. Keep saying that uh, that's why I told him, that's why I told him. He never told me anything. He just asked what I was doing and asked if I was a reporter. It doesn't matter if I'm a reporter or not. Standing on publicly accessible area, open to the general public. I can take photos of anything my little eyes can see. 
because nowhere around this prison is there any type of sign that says no photography. The only thing is no parking and every once in a while way back around the other side no trespassing. Okay, come down a little farther. Anybody hungry? Got a picnic table. So as you can see with tonight's audit, I'm using a little bit different style than I normally do. Um, being a little less courteous with them, I'm still semi-polite. Not cussing at anything. But I'm also not going to stand there and answer his questions. I'll answer which questions I want to answer. Whichever ones I don't. We can go second aid. Okay. We're standing back over behind his car up against the building now watching me. It was almost finished too. Just about to give them a pass. Now I understand why they did it. He assumed I was a reporter. There's been a lot of stories on TV lately about this particular prison because of the fact that they are battling over moving it to a new location rebuilding the prison somewhere else. So because of that, he assumed oh, HPD has arrived on the scene. Because of that, he assumed I was a reporter and was leaving me alone. But when I didn't answer his question about being a reporter, now he's got a problem with me taking pictures. Good, how are you? Good. How can I help you today? Just taking pictures. All right. Do you have your ID? Yes, I do. Can I see it, please? Have I committed a crime? You are filming yes, a I secure am. facility. Yes, I am. All right. That is not a crime. Okay. What? That's covered under the First Amendment. Okay, but what purpose are you doing this for? My own part of it. All right. Okay, well, let me go with it. What's your name? Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen? Not even your first name? Not unless I'm being arrested for committing crime. All right. So you're over here. This is where they house prisoners. Right. Okay. 
you're between also the street. the prison that is getting ready to get tore down, moved to a new location. Okay. There's all kinds of new stories on it right now. All right. So you got a lot of camera equipment. It raise some questions because you're documenting for whatever purposes unknown in an area that's no parking and kind of a safe space. Keep your hands out of your pockets while I'm talking to you, please. I'm not parking. No, I understand, well, but, I, this I is, this no is, but this is this is but this. Listen, this isn't even a sidewalk. This is an unimproved area between the road and the fence line. You're over here. We're trying to figure out why you are. On the public right. Okay. So, my, okay. My man, we're just trying to figure out why you're over here. I'm taking pictures. Okay. Again, just keep your hands where I can see them, please, and thank you. All right. Because it's a prison, and because there are prisoners housed there. Sometimes people that are outside the fence line, and I'm sure you're aware of this, do things that are not conducive to positive prison life. So sometimes there's suspicious activity that occurs outside of prison. Right. When any time there's an individual that's standing there for a long period of time, they give us a call. Officer Larson. Actually, he gave you a call because I refused to answer his question whether I'm pressed or not. It's none of his business. Okay. If I'm in there, then I have to answer his question. All right. If I'm here, I don't have to answer that question. Well, my biggest That's thing is public is public safety. Uh, my job is to keep the peace and to keep people safe, life and property, right? All right. I'm here. Actually, I was just finishing up until he decided to call HPD. Okay. I didn't want you to waste your time looking for me. All right. Well, I appreciate your cooperation. Uh, my main thing is because this area is in an unimproved area and you have the vernacular correct, but it's right next to Cam Highway. Albeit wearing tan stuff, I don't want you to get hit. If you would do me the favors, move along. That's all I'm asking you. I'm not. You're not being detained by me. You're not under arrest. I'm just trying to address what came in as a, something suspicious to us. But stop talking to you. It doesn't seem like you're doing anything suspicious other than filming outside a fence line. Which can't be considered suspicious. Actually, it can. According to the Supreme Court. Okay. No, it can't. Taking photos of anything that can be seen from public view, right. from a publicly accessible area, cannot be considered suspicious. Totality of the circumstances, my friend, though, is outside of a prison. Okay. I a person. Okay, but a person that stands there for a long period of time, recording equipment aside, let's just take all of that out. You're just standing here. Right. Then, that, yeah, I th would see that's that suspicious. person as being suspicious. Okay, but. They're standing no, there but, with no camera okay. equipment. Reasonable suspicion, right? Right. Reasonable. Is it reasonable that it's not in the normal parameters, suspicious, if a person's outside? Recording equipment or not? That's why I got a call. If, Without it, recording equipment? Yes. Okay. With recording equipment? There's been new screws set up down here for times this week already. I understand. But they, I they, but, okay, but the thing is, they do have some type of press pass. They, they, they upon request, I do too. Okay. But he does not get to see it. All right. But upon request, that's a level of cooperation. That if I am in there, All right. then I have to show it to him. All right. Out here, he has no right even talking to me. He has no authority whatsoever over me outside that fence right there. All right. Okay. His authority stops at that fence. Again, I'm just servicing the call. The call came in as something if suspicious. If he would have approached me differently, right. I would have handled right. it differently. Like I said, you're being cooperative with me up to identify yourself, and that's your prerogative. Again, you're not being detained. I'm pretty much just talking to someone, trying to make sure that one, your well-being is taken care of, and two, that I serviced the call, which was it did come in as something suspicious, right? Because you handled it this way? Yeah. I'll tell you why I'm actually here. All right. I'm here testing, doing what we call a personal matter. Okay. Their First Amendment rights to stand here on public access and take votes. Okay. And they failed. All right. You guys always pass. You guys, we don't have a problem with. Sheriff's Department failed big time the other night when they tried to force me to ID. Sure. <laughs> yeah. That uh, video actually went on YouTube, and people all around the world have thought of that. <laughs> you guys never have a problem. We've actually done First Amendment audits on several of your departments. No problem at all. Great. And we always do those at night, trying to look as suspicious in that case as we can. Right. <laughs> but with HPD, we never have a problem. It's 
I can't speak ill of anybody. You know, if this was, say this was my house, I would definitely call the police on it. You know, hey, some dude's out there videotaping, but uh, just, just do me the favor personally, just because we do, if you know about the news crews and you have your press pass, you know the accidents, you know of all this fun stuff that we have over here. So thank you very much for your time. I actually have a safety vest right here. Beautiful. If it gets any darker, I was gonna, getting ready to put it on. I anyway. appreciate it. You have a good night. <laughs> all right. I just didn't want him to see media across the back of it. Understood. <laughs> all right. Have a good evening. You too. Okay, we'll go ahead and keep these on down a little further. Let's see, before we do, let's go ahead and zoom in right here on Mr. Butthurt. the HPD officers taking him some preparation H over there. He got butt hurt. HPD we never have any problems with. It's always the other idiots that we have all the problems with. Ever since we got rid of the previous chief, I have not had one bad interaction with a Honolulu police officer. Sheriff's Department's a different story. sudden there's a problem. What they do not realize is you do not have to be a member of the press to stand out here in a publicly accessible area and take photos. Any member of the community, any citizen can do it. The press's rights to photograph in public are coexistent with the citizen's right to photograph in public. There is no difference. Okay. Looks like HPD's driving around trying to find their vehicle. gonna make it that easy for you. You gotta work harder than that. Ugh. And back to the back side of the prison again. Okay, well, unfortunately, we're going to have to call this one a I was hoping they had learned from the last one. Apparently not. We're going to do another one tomorrow. <laughs>